my name is Keith Everett with NIDIC. Today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of the NIDIC US 4000. The US 4000 is a compact all-in-one device that provides contact and immersion, A-scan biometry, B-scan imaging, and pachymetry. So my first demonstration on the US 4000 will be A-scan biometry. So we're in the A-scan biometry screen. This is where you're going to enter your patient demographics. This is biometry, B-scan, and pachymetry. So we'll stay in biometry for now. For eye type, we have several different eye types. Phacic is a continuous measurement from cornea to retina. Phacic 2 is a segmented measurement. Aphacic is for patients who do not have a natural lens. And IOL, eye type, is patients that have an implanted IOL that you would like to remeasure. Modes, we have semi-auto mode, which once the waveform hits the threshold, you can press the foot pedal and it will measure 10 measurements automatically. Speedy is going to give you three measurements automatically. Manual is where you can press the foot pedal for each individual measurement. And then the auto will give you 10 measurements automatically once the waveform hits the threshold. We also have a dense cataract mode, which press is going to give you a flat low threshold. The thresholds we have is normal, low, and flat low, which is the same as dense cataract. Down here we have our print. You can also save to your USB. This is biometry to IOL for your IOL calculations. And this is your live screen. These are your gates. We have automatic gates, but if you would like to turn your gates on for retina, cornea, front of lens, and back of lens. And these gates can be individually moved by turning the time in gate control. So now I'm going to demonstrate how to take a measurement with our contact A-scan probe. I have a jig here with a little bit of water, but since this jig does not have a natural lens, I'm going to change the eye type to aphakic. I'm going to come down, we're going to select the proper eye. I'm going to click on the freeze, that's going to go live, and we're going to stay in the auto mode, which is going to automatically give me 10 measurements. Place the A-scan probe on the jig. and it's going to give you your 10 automatic measurements. We have an average of all 10 of 21.0 and a standard deviation of 0.2. Now that we have completed our A-scan biometry measurement, we're going to go in and select an IOL. By selecting BIO to IOL. From here we have our axial length. Now we're going to measure um, our K measurements are going to be entered, K1 and K2. Our target refraction, refractive error. Our formula, all the eye walls can already be preset for the doctor's settings. As you can see down here, for each one of these eye walls, the US 4000 will select the proper eye well depending on all the measurements and your target refractive error. From here, we can select which IOL that we would like, and then we can print. My next demonstration will be on the B-scan measurement mode. So we're gonna select on our B-scan. And this is our B-scan probe. So you can see here we have a triangle, it's a little arrow. This is gonna correlate with the probe angle. So we have it set at 90 degrees, which this will be around 12 o'clock on my eye. I'm going to add a little bit of a coupler on the end of the probe. I'm going to select our live, and I do have a foot pedal down by my foot, and I'm going to use that to capture the image. I'm going to place the probe on my eye. And once I get the image that I'm looking for, I can continue to take multiple images. After we've taken our measurement, we can look at the range 
in decibels. This is really nice if you're looking for, let's say, optic nerve head drusen. You can change the range of the decibel. Cross vector. This is basically a A scan. Um, it's going to give you your, your your waveform. You can turn that on or off, and you can scroll through each one of the measurements. We can zoom onto an area of concern by two and a half times or even five times to get a more magnified view. Also, we have calipers. Now on our calipers, we have this plus and we have an X. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this small plus here, which is red, and I can use that to measure, let's say horizontal. So that's the small plus. Now I have the big plus and I could measure horizontally and then I can go up here to the X and the small X will turn red and we could measure maybe a vertical position. So you have two calipers that you can choose from. We can print, save to your USB or we can save this data uh, to your network. We can also look at a short video. So this was the time that I was live prior to pressing the foot pedal switch to capture my image. And now for my third and final brief demonstration on the US 4000, I'm gonna show you how to take a pachymetry measurement by selecting Hacky. In this mode, we have auto, which is gonna take 10 automatic measurements and give you the average, or we have the speedy, which will give you three measurements in the average. We'll keep it on auto. Over here, we also have this nice feature where we can take measurements on the cornea at different areas that you select. So in map one here, we have central cornea. Map two, we have peripheral, even more peripheral, paracentral on map four. Map five is getting more of the cornea and we can do overall cornea if you'd like. I'm just gonna keep it on map one. We're just gonna measure central cornea. I do have my pachymetry Pro and a jig ready. I'm gonna go live. Once I go live, I'm gonna take my pachymetry Pro and I'm going to take my measurement in the jig. As you can see here, issue 10 measurements automatically and the average of 770. Thank you for joining me on the brief demonstration of the US 4000 A scan, B scan pachymeter by NIDA. If you have additional questions or if you would like an in-person demonstration, please contact your local NIDA representative.